Gymnastics. When my dad and mum went out, we moved the chair to the end of the city. And then we used to take it in turns to dive off the chair. Stand by. Whee! Kerflump. Great. Jump down onto the floor, back onto the chair, onto the floor, back onto the chair. Stand by for the bomb. Whee! Kerflump. Wow. Did you see that one? Then we put another chair on the other end of this chair, on the other end of Chitty, and rammed the table up. My brother asked. Then you could dive bomb off the chair onto the city, wee, kerflump, climb onto the chair at the other end of the city, then up onto the t leap off the table like a dead rebel, yahoo, bam, onto the floor. There we follow. So you could go tunnelling along the passage, back to the chair, next to the city, and banging your ass on the floorboards, thudder, 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 thudder. Great! I asked Harry Bow, Tony Sanders, Lizzie Gray, David Alexander, Louise, Abdul, Ardonna, Warren, Fan, Joanna, Lloyd, Alfred, Lydia, Mervyn, Older, Rosen, and Hendy over, and all 700 of us went round. Great! Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. And then if we pulled the flaps out of the table, we could do marching on the table. Clomp, 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 clomp. Great, I said. Come. Yeah, we'll come over for gymnastics at Rosie's place. So that night, we dashed out of school, into our front room, moved the furniture around, and away we went. Stand by for dive bomb. Whee! Kerfluff! Onto the city, trampoline. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Up onto chair number two. Up onto the table number two. March. Clomp, 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 clomp. Red devil! Yahoo! Bam! Onto the floor. Jug, 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 jug. Under the cushions. <laughs> and back to chair number one. All six of us. Great! Screaming our heads off. Round and round our gymnastics course. Then the doorbell rang. Right in the middle of our session. The doorbell. I went and answered the door. It was the man from downstairs. He looked at me for a long time. And then he started to speak. Is your father in? No, I said. Tell him I want a word with him when he comes in, will you? He said. Yeah, I said. He went on looking at me. I could hear him breathing and his eyes were getting big and his mouth was tightening up and then he shouted, My light fitting has just fallen out of my toilet. What's going on? I've never heard anything like it. What have you got in there? Hmm? A herd of elephants? Then, all quiet, he said. I shall tell your mother and father about this. Don't you worry, Sonny. You'll see. He went indoors. I dashed back to the front room. They were lying about all over the floor, panting and giggling. Yeah! <laughs> and now I got the taste of it in my mouth and I can't stop myself, so I go, you push, you push, you push, you push. and I got all these slashes. I can't stop myself. Oh no! The t I nagged my mum and dad for a torch. Or torch. Oh, go on. I'd love a torch. One of those ones with the black box around them. Oh, go on, please. See? It was no good. I wasn't getting anywhere. Then came my day. Birth on the table was a big box. In the box, a box. In the box, a box. In the box, a torch. My dad took it out the box. In the box, in the box. You see that water, he says. It's torch proof. That is a watch. Waterproof. Proof. Wow. So that's what I am. That's what I am. Night. I got into the bath and went underwater swimming with it. With it.